Good evening, everyone, and welcome. Uh, we are here tonight uh, to talk about alternatives to the four-year school and different ways that you can uh, get an education after high school that can get you to really good opportunities for learning and for working. So we're going to start by speaking with PVCC and with us tonight, we have Kemper Steele, who is the Director of Advising, and he's going to tell us everything we need to know. All so. right, thank you, Caroline, appreciate it. All right, so I'm gonna share my screen uh, to make sure um, I have a presentation up here. Um, and honestly, this is, is more so just to keep me on track. And uh, so let me, everything good there, Caroline? You can see that? Yep, I can see it very well. So folks, um, we uh, before I get started, I, I usually like to just share that uh, one thing that's that that's really fascinating about PVCC that we're excited about is that we get all different types of students. So a lot of times, kind of historically, historically, uh, community colleges in the past, some people have the the myth out there and the mistake out there, the misperception is it's kind of everybody's plan B. When, when actually we have so many students that it's actually their plan A. Students with over a 4.0 grade point average come to our school um, and it's their first choice. Students who, however, there are students that are, un, are excellent students in high school, but just kind of unclear of what they wanna do and, and come to our school to be able to explore kind of what they wanna do as well. The interesting story that I like to share though is I actually wanna focus in on the plan B students because I will tell you some of the most fascinating conversations that I've had as the director of advising and transfer and in the advising center are students that Piedmont was their plan B. They ended up choosing a plan A, going to that plan A, and then returning to then now do PBCC. Um, so I, I, it's amazing to me how many students have actually come to us after maybe a year or so at a four-year university and come to Piedmont saying, man, this should have been my plan A. You know, this, this should have been my plan A. So that's exciting to hear because um, it, it gives students a second chance. It gives students some direction. Um, and, and for whatever reason that they, they, their plan A didn't work out, we're happy to see that they realize the value that PVCC, um, a PVCC can bring. So without further ado, let me, let me kick off some things here. I always, I don't love to start off with money, but I have a purpose to start off with money um, is, is because the one thing I want to make sure people are very clear on is that the a lot of people also mistakenly think the only reason they come to PVC is because it's more affordable. Um, 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 uh, and and uh, some people even like to use the word that it's cheaper. I, I don't love that word. I like to say that it's a better value. And although that's true, um, it's not the only reason, but let me highlight something money-wise. As you can see on the screen right now, it's about 160 bucks per credit hour um, um, at, at PVCC. Just to put that in perspective, just to put that in perspective, a four-year public university is considered one of the most affordable options for you in Virginia, a four-year public university. That is still gonna be two to three times more expensive than PVCC. So that gives you an idea of how much you're really saving. Enrollment is over 7,400 students. So we're a robust college that's thriving, but I don't want you to feel overwhelmed by that number because don't feel like you're lost in a crowd of 7,000 students. We don't see that every day happening on campus. What you're gonna expect is an average class size of about 17 students. So for some students that's smaller than even their high school class sizes. So you can imagine the amount of attention you're getting at PVCC. And then finally, 100% teaching. Um, that, once again, that might be sort of a duh statement to a lot of people like, well, of course, they're faculty members, they should be teaching. And that's a great point. But keep in mind, a lot of four year university faculty are devoted to two things, which is teaching in the classroom and then pulled to do research, um, which is very valuable. But our faculty are only expected to do the teaching in the classroom and helping students in and out of the class. So that shows how much they're 100% devoted to being able to spend time with your student. Really quickly, you're going to actually hear from one of my colleagues, Stephanie, later on with her fantastic radiography program and other programs. Um, I'm going to highlight more on the transfer side. So if you're 
if you as a student or your student, if you're a parent, is, this, is interested in transferring to a four-year university from PVCC, I'm going to highlight that tonight really quickly, but stay tuned for Stephanie later regarding, or, or at another time, um, you can definitely connect uh, regarding uh, radiography and other applied associates programs. I do want to emphasize we have multiple types of programs at PVCC. The top one on the screen right there are ones if you are interested in transferring to a four-year college or university. So what we're basically saying is we're saying you are starting, not only are you starting your associate degree by being at PVCC, you're actually starting your bachelor's degree by being at PVCC. Oftentimes the myth is once you get to a university, that's when you can, a lot of students will say, I can't wait to get to a four-year school after Piedmont so I can start my bachelor's degree. When I always say, you're gonna continue with your bachelor's degree because that is really what you're getting out of PVCC is you're getting, think of it as like, if you think of a traditional four-year university, freshman, sophomore, junior, senior year, think of you completing your freshman and sophomore years at that great tuition rate and earning credits that go towards your bachelor's degree so that you enter the university as a junior and hit the ground running with all the native students that are already there. So you'll see that there are programs designed to transfer. You'll also see that there are programs like applied science degrees, which are designed for more direct entry into career. Those are things like our health science degrees and other programs like that. And then of course we have certificate programs and smaller programs that are more concentrated on specific skills that you're learning. Um, once again, can you be eligible for financial aid? Absolutely. There's great financial assistance at PVCC, um, and we'll get into a little bit more of that later as well. Um, this is, I'm not going to run through every single one of these. Just wanted you guys to, wanted everybody to see the robust services that kind of, I call it the wraparound services that are helping you. Um, so you are going to have a great person in your faculty member who's helping you in the classroom, but this shows you all the great student services that are available to you at no cost by just being a student at PVCC. These are um, um, all the services that are kind of wraparound services that you could take advantage of. I do want to highlight tutoring. Um, a lot of times at certain four-year universities, that can actually cost money, additional monies, if you're wanting specialized one-on-one -on -one tutoring. At PVCC, that's included in the cost of being a student there. So as we like to say, You've already paid for it by being at Piedmont, so utilize it, right? And so you will see on the screen a number of resources that we have um, to provide support to y'all. Two that I want to really, really emphasize, we do have financial assistance. It does start with filling out the FAFSA, that free application for federal student aid. Um, it is, that is the same FAFSA, no matter if you're going to a four-year university or community college. Um, however, there could be some institutional, like specific to Piedmont, monies that you're available for by filling out that FAFSA as well. So you'll see there's a lot of great opportunities on the screen of availability, including work study, which is actually working a job on campus and actually earning more money towards your education. So nice way to where you're not having to travel back and forth um, um, and, and, and working a job and going to school, you could actually work a job right on campus. And one thing that people are super excited about, no more placement testing. So, uh, so we no longer require students to take a test. Keep in mind, we never required that test for admissions. We just required it for placement. So keep in mind, Piedmont is an open enrollment institution. So we are open enrollment in terms of admission. Um, and but, uh, but we used to require testing in order to figure out where, what level to place you in with courses like math and English. We no longer do that. We actually did use your high school performance. We believe that, and the system of Virginia Community College system believes that um, you have a, it is a better indicator to use our high school diploma. I'm sorry, high school performance, high school GPA, that sort of thing as well. So as you can see, we, um, that's something that's also nice, especially for those y'all who might have a little bit more test anxiety or nervousness regarding that. Now, here's the meat and potatoes that a lot of people like to ask about, especially um, students from Western Almora High School. <laughs> is uh, they want to know how do you try, how, what does it mean? How does it work? And they always, and a lot of students always say, I heard this thing called guaranteed admission. What's the catch, right? A lot of people say, what's the catch? I want to know what this, what this is. Well, here's the deal. There's no catch. Uh, let, me, let me just kind of break it down for you. There's two ways that you can apply to transfer from PVCC. So if you as a student or your student comes to Piedmont, one way, which is very popular, is the guaranteed admission agreement. We have a guaranteed admission agreement on file with every four-year public university in Virginia and most private universities in Virginia. So well, who does that include? That includes the University of Virginia, Virginia Tech, 
James Madison University, George Mason, VCU, Longwood, College of William & Mary, et cetera, et cetera. Um, we have guaranteed admission agreements with all of those schools. Now, uh, what does that require? It requires the things that are listed on this, on this list. So you can see that it requires a minimum cumulative grade point average, which depends on the four-year school. It requires the completion of a transferable associate's degree. And we talked about that earlier. It requires specific courses. It requires specific grades in those courses. What I'm basically saying is, is if, you're, if your student or you as a student checks all these boxes, you're guaranteed admission to that university which is, a, and, and no catch. It, you just gotta follow these rules, right? And there might be a lot of rules, but you gotta follow those rules. And here's even the better part is, regardless of your high school performance in high school classes, you can actually turn, you can actually come to Piedmont and in essence sort of start over. Um, it's not like it's taking your high school grade point average and continuing. You're starting over when you come to PVCC and moving forward with that as well. So, so just know that that's how exciting guaranteed admission can be. And what does that mean? I know that many of you all probably have friends or have parents that have other children that like might, might know that the competitive process of admissions is, is intense. Um, freshman competitive admissions is an intense process. And this is basically taking the intensity out of it and the competitiveness out of it and making it an automatic process. So definitely uh, great options. The other way to apply to transfer, as you can see on the screen is with competitive admissions, um, basically does not require any of those other things I just ran through before with guaranteed admission, strongly encouraged to get a certain GPA, strongly encouraged to get an associate's degree, but doesn't follow the same must do this, must do this, must do this. Please know competitive transfer admissions is very successful. We send a lot of students to four-year universities under competitive transfer admission. Oftentimes when people hear about guaranteed admission, they oftentimes think of that as like the good thing and competitive admissions as the bad thing. And that's not true. They're just two different ways that you can apply for transfer. But obviously in competitive admission, the root word being compete, you are competing against all other applicants applying for, uh, for, uh, for that university, but both very successful with our students. And then finally, what are your next steps? Meet with your high school counselor, apply to PVCC. It's free to fill out and not very difficult to fill out an application. Once again, we're an open enrollment school. As soon as you fill out that application, you have a student ID number and you're ready to roll. Um, determine your plan for payment. You know, If you're planning to attend PVC after high school graduation, determine your course placement, talk with one of us in admissions and advising, connect with one of us so we can review your high school performance. And then of course, if you're kind of early bird right now, there's still opportunity to get, in, in, to get into dual enrollment classes. Why not get college level courses early and you can already have a leg up? And I always say this, whether Piedmont is going to be your destination right after high school, why not get some dual enrollment anyway? Because that can be college credit at other locations as well, not just PVCC. Um, so that, that could be, you can already get a leg up and get a head start on your college education. So, so that is uh, my presentation regarding that. We're excited to connect with you. Uh, please let us know. We know it can be a difficult thing to navigate, um, but, but we have a great team that, that wants to show you all how PVCC can be your plan A. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Kemper. And I wanna tell our students and parents that we have a lot of students from Western who do end up taking some classes at PVCC at some point. Uh, so uh, we hope you all get to meet Kemper and have the wonderful experience of enjoying his energy and enthusiasm. <laughs> so thank you so yeah. much for your time today. And, Absolutely. Um, all right, so I'm gonna...